Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show and describe what are the roles required to customize SaaS pages using VB Studio. So whenever you want to customize any page, you must have access of the VB Studio. If you don't have ex if you don't have the correct access, you will not have the right set of permission to customize the existing pages. So it is important to get the correct permission, correct role in case you are planning to customize any page using VB Studio. So let's begin and see what are the roles required. So before we discuss about what are the roles that is required, we will discuss about two different roles. One is called developer admin and second is called developer user. So basically, when a VB Studio is provisioned via PaaS system, not talking about SaaS system, same thing happens in the SaaS also. So whenever a VB Studio is getting provisioned, so in IDCS or domain, there will be two roles that will be created against that VB Studio. One is called developer administrator and second is called developer user. So these are the roles that actually required to access VB Studio. If you give any anybody this role called developer administrator, they will become the administrator of the VB Studio and they can do anything. If you give developer user to anybody, they will become developer. They cannot do anything. They will have restricted privileges. So this like when you provision the sys, of course, SAS comes with the VB Studio by default. And of course, when VB Studio is getting provisioned inside SAS also, those two roles will be created by default. Then, but yes, SAS roles will be different. How we are going to map those SAS roles with those roles? We don't need to map it. They are already mapped and, and are synchronized automatically but sometimes synchronization disabled also and then your SAS administrator has to log in into the SAS IDCS maybe pass IDCS and then they have to give permission to that user but if the role sync is enabled then you don't need to worry about it so what are the roles now discuss it I'm discussing what are the roles that a user should have it to get access of the VB studio so you can get any role. If you wanted to become administrator of the VB Studio so that you can do anything, you can have either of the role and those roles are mapped with the developer admin of the VB Studio automatically. You can have either application administrator, which is like Aura, FNG, application administrator job, or you can take sales administrator, which would be like Aura, ZBS sales administrator job. You can have CRM application administrator, which would be like Aura ZCA customer relationship management application administrator job. You can also have synchronization enabled administrator identity, which is like Aura sync enabled administrator abstract, or you can have HCM application administrator job role also so if you have any one of the roles you will get vb studio developer admin access if you wanted to become developer user it totally depends what which role your admin will provide to you if you will become the developer if you wanted to become the developer user you have to request either this application developer which is aura fnt application developer job or you can have synchronization enabled developer identity now let's see how those roles can be given if roles are not there you may get you are you don't have the permission to get access of the vb studio so let's begin so let me show you how you will provide those roles so what you need to do you click here on the burger menu from here go to your tools and go to your security console. If you don't, if you don't have access, of course, you cannot log in here. You go to the users. You go to the users here, and then you search which user you want to use to give access. Let's say in a and search. Either okay.
Okay, let me search a name with Ema. Okay, so Ema. So let's suppose this guy, Ema Clark. So you see this guy has only three roles. So what you can do, you can simply edit this. And what you can say, you have to click on an add role. So from here, you have to search a role, let's say application administrator. Administrator, you see Aura FND, Aura FND application administrator job. So you have to give this role. Click this. And if you want to give application administrator access, select this and then add role membership. And this role will be added. In case you wanted to give developer, you can say application developer. So which is your Aura FND application developer job. And let's say add and let's say done. After you done, you will see those two roles has been added here. And please don't forget to click save and close. Now, after this role is given, you have to wait at least 30 minutes to, to sync these roles with the Visual Builder Studio. If you have to remember one point, if the sync is enabled between says and VB Studio, then only this role will be assigned after 30 minutes. But if not, if sync is not enabled, then you have to ask your says admin to give privileges directly in the IDCS. So this is how you can give, you can provide the necessary access to the user to access VB Studio and please ask him to wait for 30 minutes. If the role, if the, if again, user gets some issues, you have to check with the SAS administrator. So this is how you can provide required permission to access VB Studio inside SAS. Thank you. Bye-bye.